We're coming to you live tonight from Cowtown Ballroom. If you join in the middle of this. They say if you remember the 70s, you wasn't there. <laughs> the, the biggest part of the 60s did in fact happen in the 70s. The psychedelic waves from both shores were crashing in the Midwest. All this collision of ideas and cultures. The whole seed for Cowtown was born at that point in time. I love a girl that make a fool of you. Rather than going to the coast for careers, we thought, no, let's raise the flag here. And he said, I'm pulling a bunch of people together. We're going to go look at this building. Instantly, it just had a feeling and a vibe to it. And it was like, we're home. This place could rock. Let's be proud of Kansas City as a cow town. And we're going to call it Cowtown Ballroom. When the time came, it all came together, and the doors flew open, and the lights went on, and the band started playing, and we were off and running. Cowtown Ballroom was a room full of people ready to have a good time listening to music. It was a swinging bar in which everybody was totally shit-faced. It was a great place to play music, and people came there just for that. This probably was the hottest place we ever played. It just bred a community spirit. It was a hippie joint. The minute you walk in the door, you feel it. That's why you want to go there. I did see Brewer and Shipley for the first time at Cowtown Ballroom. It was the drug generation time, and One Took Over the Line was clearly one of the better anthems that had been written. When One Took Over the Line was a hit, we made Nixon's enemies list, which we held as a badge of honor and still do to this day. The artists in the audience came together at a very high level at Cowtown. It was just a very spiritual, beautiful place. It was also one heck of a good time. It was a sociological experiment in terror, really. If you breathe the air there, you were smoking pot. You'd see people losing their minds and being helped in or out of one reality or another. And you go to those places whether you know who's playing or not. You're going to the Cowtown Ball. Sure likes the boogie. I forgot the question again. <laughs>